Lines Comedy Club in Times Square has launched many famous careers, brought joy to thousands of people, and touched almost everyone in the comedy industry. And now the New York City Comedy Festival is back, now in its 18th year, and seems bigger and better uh, than it ever has. And after what we've been through in the past two and a half years, we could certainly use a laugh. So with me is Caroline Hurst, the founder and owner of Caroline's Comedy Club. Great to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Since we're in the hood here, yes, we're right. a couple blocks away. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. So tell me about the festival. Um, it sounds like you've got a great lineup. So kind of give me an overview of what we Okay, so the festival, the New York Comedy Festival, takes place November 7th through the 13th. We have over 200 comedians, over 100 shows. It'll probably be over 150 shows that we do around the city. We made the announcement, and tickets go on sale tomorrow for all of our big shows, which is Tracy Morgan, Joe Coy at Madison Square Garden. We're also using the USB uh, arena this year for John Mulaney. Um, we have Jimmy O'Yang at Town Hall, just around the corner here. Um, we have a, a slew of people, Jenny Slade, yeah, J.P. Smooth, Conan O'Brien is too, in two shows at the Beacon. So go on to, uh, go on NewYorkComedyFestival.com and make your selection there and make sure you buy tickets tomorrow. And you founded this, right, 18 years ago? This, we founded the Comedy Festival, me and my okay. partner, Andrew Fox, uh -huh. and we decided to do it after we had a 20th anniversary of Caroline's. We had a 20th anniversary, and then we thought about doing more of it, because what we did, we did it at Carnegie Hall. We opened up tickets to the public. We had all of the people that we worked with early on in my career uh -huh. come and perform, and it was a hit. And we said, why don't we do more of this? So the New York Comedy Festival is really like lots of the people that have graduated from Caroline's mm -hmm. are now doing bigger theaters, and we're able to work with yeah. them. I think it's a great idea because you're kind of taking it out. You're out, in, even in Long Island, right? Yes. One of the shows, yes, Queens. We're, we're, it's on the borderline of Queens, okay. Nassau County. Uh -huh. So now when you first started this, what was your mission and how has that evolved over the years? Well, the mission was, it was to extend the Caroline's brand. Mm. It, the festival was produced by us. Um, and what it did is help me work with comedians like a Bill Maher, who started with me way back on 8th Avenue and I'm able to work with him He's, he's going to be in the festival okay. at the Hulu Theater at Madison Square Garden. Okay. So Bill's back again this year to do that. So it, it keeps, me, keeps me working with everybody that I kind of started out with. But the other part of the festival is that we develop all new talent. Mm -hmm. And a lot of the, the little shows, which we will announce in September, will go on, they'll go on sale in September, but that's a lot of like the emerging, everybody that's gonna happen. Sure. And it's very, it's all these little creative shows that we sure. put together. You can see the future Bill Mars and Conan O'Brien's at these festivals Absolutely, as well. yeah. So um, is it stand up? Are there interviews? What are- what There's are the lots of things. Well, like Conan O'Brien, we're doing his, his podcast at the Beacon mm. Theater. Okay. We do podcasts around the city. We do improv. We do interviews, um, so there's, there's something for everyone. And the talent base, there is something for everyone to see. Yeah, and if you go on the website, you can find out what all of these shows are all yes. about. Yes, I'll push it again, NewYorkComedyFestival.com. So, um, and so we've been clearly through this <laughs> devastating pandemic. What was that like for you as a business owner, particularly in a theater venue in New York? and just the comedy industry in general. Well, what happened was, I'll never forget it, it was a March, March 13th, and that weekend, we had sold out shows. We had Tim Dillon. Apparently, Tim Dillon could not get into the city. We canceled the shows, and then on Monday, that 16th, I believe, there was a mandate that we had to shut down. Yeah. So we were closed for over 16 months. We were not a restaurant where we could do takeout food. We were an entertainment venue, and they were mandated and closed. Yeah. So there was so, really no way for you to make any income at all. No, we didn't. Did you do anything streaming or? No, we didn't do. Yeah. I, no, there's really, you know, we can talk about all the streaming, but if you really don't have the distribution, it really doesn't mean anything. That's right. So, and you need an audience. Yeah. 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 And it was very hard for people to do. Yeah. comedy over streaming without an audience, yeah. without any feedback. No, I, I, can, so see, I it, can see that yeah. being really it difficult. Was hard. You need to like so. feed off that energy off of each other. It was hard. Thank okay. God we were able to get through this okay. and reopen. We reopened in uh, right before uh, Memorial Day in 2021. 2021. Okay. And have you noticed tourists coming back? Um, look, <laughs> we're not going to get back to the levels we had in New York City in 2019 until 2025. Mm. And in our area here, as you can see, 50% or 60% of the people have not come back to work. Mm -hmm. 
So that is not helping any of the industry around here. It doesn't help the restaurants. It doesn't help the little guy on the street serving coffee. So everybody needs to get back if we think we're really going to get this economy back in New York City. Yeah. It hasn't, it, it's really hurting us. Yeah. Well, hopefully they can uh, get it back because it's just, there's mm -hmm. an energy that's missing, mm -hmm. um, even though it's getting there. But it, it's it looks not. like it is. We never realized how many people were in the streets. Yeah. Um, you know, and certainly European travel, or all of our, outside of our domestic, domestic tourism has come back, mm. not quite to those numbers. But what we all are missing is the other 18 million that haven't come in from around the world. Yeah. Okay. And then, um, so this is a great opportunity for people to come back to New York. It's a great opportunity. <laughs> hey, go buy a ticket. Go buy a few tickets. Come into New York City. Make your hotel reservations. Make your reservations at the restaurant. And it's a great way to get, to laugh, to make you feel good. It's, it's good for your health. Yeah, get Take a weekend and come into New York and do it. Congratulations on doing this for 18 years, and I know you've launched so many incredible careers, <laughs> and best of luck this year. Thank you. Thanks, Caroline. Thank you. Thank uh -huh. you.